Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest interview experience of the for the Deloitte company of the Bash 2023. So, guys, previously also two videos I have uploaded, and many of you have requested me to upload the EC related videos. That is, what type of questions are asked from the EC students? So, guys, this video is for you. In this particular interview, the core questions from EC has has also been asked. The core questions from CS subjects like DBMS. Uh, oops all these things have also been asked so make sure that you are watching this video till the end and you're not skipping any question because these questions can be very useful to you okay as i have told you previously also a lot of interview experiences i have posted for deloitte all the links you will find in the description box there's a dedicated playlist for the deloitte hiring that is going on wherein all the coding questions that were asked all the interview experiences till now i have posted and also i have posted a video wherein you will get to know that if you are preparing for the Deloitte interview, what all what all topics and what all questions you will have to prepare. So guys, many more videos are yet to come. So please hit the subscribe button as well as the like button for this channel and do join the Telegram groups. The links are in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so the date of the interview was 27th January 2023. Okay, the branch of my friend was ECE. The duration of the entire interview was 25 minutes. Okay. First, let's just discuss the technical questions. Then we will be coming towards the HR questions. The first question, as you all know, I have uh, I have been telling you from past two to three videos, will be introduce yourself, and this will be the short short question that where your interview will go. So kindly prepare this answer very well. So you can include your internships, your extracurricular activities, your skills, certifications, publications, if you have any. So all these things you can. Uh, include in this particular question and it will you will be good to go okay so i hope now this uh, this particular question is clear to you now there will be certain questions which will be asked from the ec core okay so let's just start reading them so first question is difference between microprocessor and microcontroller so i will not be giving the answers to these questions because see these questions are related to core of ec so i don't i am i am not from the ec background i won't be able to explain you these answers but I will be able to just tell you the questions which were asked and you can simply go on certain websites to read about these questions. Okay. So I will be just telling you the questions which were asked. So difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Okay. So this was the question that was asked. Next was what are the transformers and what are its types? So, okay. So there are different types of transformers. All you will have to explain to the interviewer. Okay. And uh, one one line each you can explain to the interviewer and he will be good to go. Okay. So I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question was which type of transformer is used in lightning system. So as I uh, so like see there are different types of transformers. So every transformer will be used for different different uh, requirements. So which of the transformer is used for lightning system? Again, you are uh, you will have to Google this particular question. Okay, which type uh, which type of transformer is used in the lightning systems? Okay, so I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next question was uh, first explain step up and step down transformer in detail. So again, these are different types of transformers. You will have to uh, explain these specific types. What does step up means? What does step down means? I think it is related to something voltage that step up uh, transformer increases the voltage and step down transformer decreases the voltage. I don't have the sure shot idea, but I think it is. Okay. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Oh, oh sorry. Yes. Okay, moving to the next question. What is the difference between C++ and Python? So guys, in last video, I have told you what is the difference between Java and Python. So similarly will be the uh, uh, scenario with C++ and Python. Okay, first of all is the syntax. Python syntax is very easy. It is just an English language. Whereas C++ syntax is little complex. There will be, uh, there will be semicolons that you will be missing. There will be particular um, data types that you will have to declare first. Okay. So this is the major difference between C++ and Python and again Python is slightly on the slower side whereas C++ is slightly on the faster side. Okay. So these are the major two difference between these two languages. Okay. Next question is explain OOPS concepts. So guys again like this is the fourth or fifth video that I'm making for the Deloitte interview experience and in all of the interviews this is the commonly asked question that is what are the OOPS concepts. OOPS concepts include uh, encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism. These are very important concepts as per the interview is concerned. So what I have done, I have made a dedicated video on this particular question that explain OOPS concept in that I have discussed each of the concept in detail 
and how you will have to tell to the interviewer the link you will find in the i button or in the description box make sure to visit it okay okay so now moving to the next question what is through and throughput so again i, I do not know the answer for this particular question but again it's a good question that you can prepare for your interviews so this video is specifically for those who are from non cs it background because there can be core related core questions from your core subjects okay it will not be always that you will be asked questions from dbms oops programming there are chances that if you are from ec background uh, any triple e background so questions can be asked from your core subjects also okay so be prepared for those things also okay so what is through and throughput again you can google the answer next question is explain about your project so guys again very much important question as per the interview is concerned uh, i will give you the link in the i button or in the description box wherein i have described in detail that how you will have to tell uh, how you will have to describe your project in the interview okay what all points you will have to include and what all what are the commonly asked questions which can be asked from your project okay so the link of that video i will give in the i button or in the description box make sure to visit it next question is any challenges faced in the project and how did you overcome okay so guys whenever you are making a project then never say that you have not faced any challenges there are challenges which are present in the project just find out and tell to the interviewer and try to tell that how you overcome those those challenges okay so i hope now this question is also clear to you next question is what do you expect from deloitte so from here the hr questions have started so what do you expect from deloitte so you can say that you will be working on latest technologies okay development work will be given to you and uh, good there will be good work life balance okay so all these things you can Uh, tell that what do you expect as uh, expect from deloitte okay so this is the answer that you can give next question is what is your one best quality and one weakness so again never say that i do not have any weakness just tell to the interviewer that what is your weakness okay one quality and one weakness you will have to tell to the interviewer just prepare for two qualities and two weaknesses and state any of these things in the interview okay so i hope now this question is also clear to you next question is how you handle work pressure okay so again guys how you handle work pressure you uh, what you can answer is that like if you are given a task you like to break that task into smaller pieces okay and then just grab one of the pieces and try to put it in the right place so this is how you can answer this particular question in the interview okay so last question of this interview is what if a task is given to you and you are not able to do it in time so again it's a situational based question you will find many answers to it Uh, on the google thing okay so so these were all the questions which are asked from this candidate this particular interview was specially specifically for those who are from non csit background this this included the core ec subject questions some questions from dbms oops uh, concepts also okay so i hope you like the video and if you have not subscribed the channel till now please subscribe it because more such videos will be coming in future from tomorrow also in uh, the next week there are lot of interviews that are that will be happening so i will be co covering them so make sure that you are hitting the subscribe button as well as the like button for this channel and guys thank you for watching this video